Lesson 59 is about proportions with fractions, and we'll solve these problems just like we did the proportion problems that you learned about back in Lesson 54, where you cross multiply and then you can solve for that missing value. Let's just go ahead and do a practice problem. Look at practice problem A, and we'll start by cross multiplying. One half times x, that would just be one half x is equal to two fifths times one third and that would be two fifteenths. Now we go ahead and multiply both sides by two over one. And that cancels everything on the left. That gets our x by itself. We end up with four over fifteen on the right. x equals four over fifteen. Our first step was to cross multiply, and if you have forgotten what that means, that means we multiply across like that, and we multiply across like that, those two factors. It's just a shortcut. Instead of using the multiplication and division rule several times, we can skip a couple of steps there by doing cross multiplication. Look at B. Now, if you remember what I told you when we were talking about cross multiplication before, if the variable is in the numerator, you don't have to use cross multiplication. But in this case, when everything's in terms of fractions, it really is easier to just go ahead and use cross multiplication. So let's do that. x times 2 thirds, that would just give you 2 thirds x. And that's equal to 1 third times 1 6, which is 1 18. Multiply both sides by 3 over 2 now. and that cancels on the left. A 3 and an 18, that can reduce to a 1 and a 6, and we'll end up with x being equal to 1 over 12. So cross multiplication was easier there than multiplying both sides by 1 third. We still end up with a complex looking fraction on the right hand side. Anytime you have a complex fraction, there's just more of a chance of making a mistake. Let's go ahead and do another one. Cross multiply, and we'll get 1 fourth times x is equal to 3 times 1 eighth. That's the same thing as saying 3 over 1 times 1 over 8. Hopefully by now you know that anytime you have a whole number, you can just think of it as a fraction by writing it over 1. So just think about that in your head. 3 is 3 over 1 times 1 over 8 equals 3 over 8. Now we need to multiply both sides by 4 over 1. That's our multiplication rule. You can multiply both sides by the same value. It doesn't change your equation, it just changes the way it looks. And now we can simplify on the right the 4 and the 8. That can reduce to a 1 over 4 and x is just going to be equal to 3 fourths. And actually that reduces to 1 over 2, not 1 over 4. So x should be equal to 3 halves instead. Let's do one more problem. And we'll cross multiply here and we'll get 1 7 times x is equal to 1 fourth times 5, which would be 5 fourths. Now we'll cross, not cross multiply, we'll multiply both sides by 7 over 1. Cancel on the left, and we end up with x is equal to 35 over 4. There's nothing we can reduce in that, so we just leave it 35 over 4. When you have proportions that contain fractions, just cross multiply as usual, solve for your missing value. Okay, well that's all for lesson 59.